Hello everybody, this is another screencast from uh, Learning 3GS Blog. The topic of this particular screencast is a live coding session. It will be about tQuery Web Audio. What is tQuery Web Audio? It's a wrapper on top of the Web Audio API. It is all in explained inside the blog. So what do we get on the screen? We get a tQuery playground. Here we got the usual tQuery boilerplate, normal stuff. After that, we're gonna do we're gonna load the sound and play the sound. This is the first part. On the second part, we're gonna do some animation based on the sound. Let's get started. The very first step is to enable web audio in our world. Quite simple, so something like this. Enable web audio. And this is down. We are happy about it, I guess. <laughs> it doesn't do much on screen, but this is down. Create, load, and play a sound. This is an important part. So, first stage is to do a URL with the sound that we're going to load. We're going to get this sound from the plugin assets. So, sound slash techno slash mp3. Alright, we got the URL. Now, let's create our sound. tQuery create sound. We have created the sound. This is enough to create the sound. Now we're going to load it. So, load URL and here a function. This function is going to be called when the sound is loaded. So, we do that. Still working. That doesn't do much. So, this is cool. We have loaded the sound, but we need to start playing it in order to hear it, right? So, we do that and you hear the sound. Pretty cool. As you can see, it is working. You got Doppler effect on all. It is pretty nice. Let me mute the sound this way. You have a chance to hear me. All right. So we have enabled web audio here. Here we do so create, load, and play the sound. And uh, now let's make the object scale according to sound amplitude. So for that we're gonna do world we're gonna hook a function on the renaming loop of our world. So we do something like this and that should be cool. So this function here gonna be called uh, I, every time you do a rendering, a wet gel rendering. So so let's say bar scale sound so the sound here is the sound which has been created here yeah okay so this sound amplitude all right let's put some um, stuff like that to avoid silly effect we have our scale here which is a normal number and uh, here we do object scale of this scale and we reload this. Let's put the sound. As you can hear on C, there is a sound playing on the toes behind is actually pulsating depending of what we do. Pretty cool. Right? I don't know, I find it cool. Reload. Doesn't work. Oh, I did mistake here. Excellent. So, that's going to be it for today. I mute the sound. This is a rather short source for what we get on the screen, right? Especially because the sound is positional, so you got Doppler and stuff like that. I will probably do more compelling demo in the future, but this one is for educational purposes, so it is short and hopefully easy to understand. See you, people. Have fun.